Oleksandr Usyk is arguably pound for pound one of the best in boxing today due to his very clinical and fluid boxing style. Many of his opponents have struggled with this over his whole amateur and professional career. Having become undisputed cruiserweight champion in 2018, the Ukrainian has now moved up to heavyweight. He is now aiming for a heavyweight world title against Joshua Fury or Wilder. In this boxing style analysis video, I'll be looking at Usyk's background, accomplishments, and of course, his effective and clinical boxing style. So let's get right into it. Usyk started boxing at the age of 15 in his mid-teens, and he amassed an incredible amateur record of 335 wins and 15 losses. It's no wonder he's gone on to become one of the most talented boxers in the sport to date. Starting his amateur career at middleweight, Usyk grew up into his body as he slowly became an amateur heavyweight. Most notably, Usyk won gold medals at the World Championships in 2011 and the London 2012 Olympics. Usyk has achieved pretty much all you could do in his amateur career, which meant only one way forward, turning professional. Usyk started his professional career in the cruiserweight division in 2013. From here, he comfortably got through his last nine opponents before getting his first world title shot against the Polish WBO champion, Glowacki. After a few title defences, Usyk jumped at the chance of entering Season 1 of the World Boxing Super Series in the Cruiserweight Tournament. With all four world titles up for grabs, it was the perfect opportunity to become undisputed champion. The Ukrainian got through this tournament with relative ease defeating the top world champions including Marko Huck, Bradis and Gaziev. He defeated Gaziev in the final in convincing fashion to become the first ever four belt undisputed cruiserweight champion, something which had not been done since Evander Holyfield. After this huge milestone, Usyk took on the likes of Tony Bellew to defend his cruiserweight titles one last time with a convincing 8th round KO. He's now moved up to the heavyweight division, having had his first taste against Chad Witherspoon and a more recent bout against Derek Chisora. It will still be fascinating to see how the Ukrainian will get on against the Goliaths of the division in Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury and Deontay Wilder. What is Usyk's boxing style? Usyk's boxing name is The Cat and it's no wonder he's called that after watching him due to his slickness, agility and that pawing jab while in the ring. Having trained in the Ukrainian boxing system, Usyk has a very European boxing style that usually entails a good jab that is constantly pawing or being thrown, a high guard defence, good footwork and sharp single counter shots. Usyk of course has learned all these fundamentals extensively during his amateur career. Although fundamentally he doesn't look that exciting, he is in fact very dangerous and clinical. This also helps due to the fact he is a southpaw which causes more orthodox fighters problems. Feet first. One of the first things that gets overlooked by Usyk is his incredible footwork. He primarily uses his feet to control and maintain the pace of the fight. This is one of the key factors of how he controls his opponent in the ring, while the main objective is to try and control himself in the centre of the ring. He will do this by using his jab, which I'll mention more about in a second, to maintain distance from his opponent, while also pivoting around his opponents which helps to offset and keep them off balance. This helps reduce the pressure on himself. This helps Usyk avoid getting caught up in the corners or ropes. Usyk will also usually step in and out of range before throwing a combination of punches to try finish off his opponent if necessary. Prime example today of Usyk's footwork was obviously against Gaziev in the World Boxing Super Series final. Truly incredible to watch his footwork in this fight. Gaziev can't get close to him for about 12 rounds. Make sure to check out this fight in the link in the description. Pawing jab and pressure. Very much like Lomachenko, Usyk uses his footwork and pawing jab moving in and outward constantly with feints. This is to gauge how his opponent will react to his movements. The Ukrainian is very intelligent in how he does this and will throw pawing jabs to simply apply more pressure on his competitor without using too much energy. This causes the opposition to rush their work, throwing unnecessary punches to stop or counter the pressure. However, due to the elite level of footwork and defence Usyk has, he's very much able to move out of the way, block punches or hit back with a brutal combination or power punch counter. 
If his opponent manages to get through this, Usyk once again keep applying that pressure with the jab with a constant movement to tire them out. It's truly impressive. One of the best examples as you can see is against Tony Bellew in 2017 where he applied constant pressure to the point where Tony Bellew couldn't keep up with the pace, resulting in a devastating knockout. Combination punching and finishing Usyk is of course a southpaw, which wouldn't make you think his lead hand is in fact stronger of the two. Like many of the great fighters in the past, he leads with his stronger hand, but thanks to the extensive amateur career he simply perfected the technique of using his weaker left hand. If anything, I feel it gives him a huge advantage over many of the opponents he faces. They tend to put too much attention and focus on Usyk's jab. When the Ukrainian spots an opening, this is when he'll throw his straight left hand or hook while moving to catch his opponent completely off guard. This therefore helps create devastating punches when he throws a combination with his left hand. Defense Now primarily I would say Usyk's footwork, which actually helps him in most cases, but it's his high guard and constant slipping of punches that plays a huge part in his defense. Using the high guard, he's able to draw out unnecessary punches from his opponent, while he's also able to protect himself from getting hit cleanly, making him a much harder target. The other aspect he uses is simply slipping punches. Usyk and most elite fighters will in fact do this. Obviously this is to move out the way of punches, but more importantly, he uses this to gauge the distance from himself and his opposition. These subtle moves may seem like nothing to most people, but overall they make a huge impact on him not getting caught up in the inside or even getting hit. Overall, Usyk for me is definitely still one of the pound for pound top 5 in the world at the moment. The fact he has gone through a very talented cruiserweight division tells it all in my opinion. If you're someone that's looking to improve their footwork, apply pressure with the jab, he's a perfect example to follow. As I recommended earlier in this video, I highly recommend you watch his fight with Gaziev to really see this in action. In terms of his recent move up to heavyweight, he hasn't been that effective, and it'll be interesting to see how he gets on against the likes of Anthony Joshua or any of the other big heavyweights. There is the argument that he's too small to cause any damage or problems. Time will tell, and definitely his movement and jab will cause problems for any of those huge heavyweights. And that wraps up this boxing style analysis breakdown. Thanks so much for watching as always. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Really appreciate all the support. Make sure to comment below and let me know your thoughts on Usyk, and also which boxer you want me to cover next. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.